Making a military rack is used mainly for uniformity purposes, to make sure that everybody's in line together, all the same, and for purposes of cleanliness. The first step you want to do is take one sheet and you want to place it on the rack so that it is flat all the way from side to side. You want to line up the edge of the sheet with the bottom end of the mattress. Make sure the overhang on each side is equal. Next, you want to kneel down by the head end of the rack and you want to tuck the sheet up under so that it is flush. Next, you want to go to one side at the head end of the mattress and you want to start doing the 45 degree corner. You do that by lifting up the bottom edge of the sheet and pulling it back so as to have the overhang pulled tightly and then tucked up underneath the rack. Next, you will let the excess hang down over forming the 45 degree angle. You will place your hand as to make it smooth and then you will tuck in the excess up underneath the rack. You always want to make sure that you smooth out the sheets. You continue tucking the excess part of the sheet all the way down towards the foot end of the rack. Next, you will go to the other side and you will proceed in the same manner as you did the first time. Next, you want to take the second sheet and you want to place it on the rack as the first time. This time, you want to align the sheet to the head end of the mattress making sure that the overhang is the equal on both sides. Next step is to take the first green blanket and place it on the rack. Keep in mind that it has U.S. stamped on it for United States. This should be readable when standing at the foot end of the mattress. Place the blanket on the rack as the same way you would the sheet, making sure that the equal overhang on both sides of the rack. You want to line the top of the green blanket approximately 12 inches from the head end of the mattress. Next, you will start tucking the blanket in along with the sheet, making sure everything is smooth. Again, the 45 degree corner on the foot end of the mattress is attained by folding up excess blanket, tucking it smooth up underneath, placing your hand there, and then bringing the excess part of the blankets all the way down, and it will form the 45 degrees. You will smooth it out with your hands each time, and then you will just tuck the excess blanket and sheet around the mattress. Continue to always use your hands in smoothing out the blanket all across the mattress. Next, you will go to the other side of the rack, and you will do the hospital corner or the 45 degree corner in the same manner as you did on the previous side. The next step is to place the pillow on the rack. Make sure you smooth out the pillow so that it is flat. You'll notice that it has excess overhang of the pillowcase. When you place it on there, make sure you tuck it up underneath so it is to not hang freely. The next step is to take the dust cover and place it equally on both sides onto the mattress. Make sure that the single fold of the blanket is down towards the foot end of the mattress. As always, make sure that the overhang is equal on both sides. Adjust it as necessary. The next step is to take the overhang of the dust cover and tuck it up underneath the mattress on the head end. Continue on making the 45 degree hospital corners on the dust cover as shown before with the foot end of the mattress on the sheets and the blanket. The last step is to make sure that there are no wrinkles in the dust cover, in the blanket, in any of the sheets, and also double check your hospital corners on each foot end and head end of the mattress. And that is how to properly make a military rack.